Inspiration. It's a peculiar thing. Inspiration can be as common as oxygen or as unique to you as your fingerprint. All humans are creative regardless of how they view themselves, and most need and provide creative inspiration. But how you find it, where you find it, can be fluid, like walking a tightrope. Even though I spent my entire adult life as a photographer, I rarely look to photography to find inspiration. I'm a long-form story-style photographer, and all my projects begin with the spark of an idea. These ideas can come from an observation, a phrase, a sound, or an episode of daydreaming. Let me explain where I find most of my inspiration. Number one, reading. I read approximately 80 books a year, and I can't tell you how important reading is to my daily process. I read fiction, nonfiction, biography, and anything else I can get my hands on. History is endless, and when you branch out to world history, the project ideas flow like the Ganges. Number two, music. What kind of music do you listen to, people ask? Everything is my reply. Music often helps me write the story that accompanies my photography. And if you can write or play music, just know that doing so is the most complete use of the human brain ever discovered. Number three, nature. Whether it be patterns, sounds, weather events, or the foundational base of photography itself, light, nature provides an endless source of creative inspiration. Hiking, climbing, cycling, fishing, bird watching, fossil hunting, rock hounding, or just general outdoor exploration is a major part of my creative life, even though most of the time I take little more than a notebook to record my thoughts. Speaking of notebooks, number four, journaling. I've kept a daily journal since 1993 when I found a book about Peter Beard in the Phoenix Public Library. This book simply changed my life. The journal is a safe zone of pure thought, pure expression with no right and no wrong. I write knowing that no other human being will ever see the pages. The journal is where I can tap my deepest emotion, my fears, and my wildest of ideas. Number five, photography books. I mentioned before I rarely look to photography for my inspiration. True, but I do look to good photography books. But why? Because a good photography book is a merger of high-level artists and high-level skill sets. There's the publisher the acquisitions editor, the book designer, the book editor, the photographer, and a variety of other players. Nothing is left to chance. The combination of these ingredients can create something far more than the sum of its parts, something that can literally change the world. I live in the Southwest, where much of life depends on tapping deep wells into the Earth's cooler, wetter parts. But regardless of where you live, tapping your creative well is a fun, healthy, and necessary part of being an artist. Remember, Your muse needs no apology, no precise reasoning. Your inspiration can come from anywhere, anyone, or anything. Go create.